Hey everyone, today we're gonna to learn how to liven up your storyline course or Camtasia or Captivate or anything like that and how to import these animated GIFs to liven up your static images instead of just using static images. So let's go ahead and get started. Welcome back, my name is Jeff Bat, and if you haven't checked out my website already, go ahead and check out my website at learningdojo.ninja. Here you can check out all previous blog posts, all the different tips and tricks of learning developments, XAPI, and Articulate Storyline. You can also check out custom, how to customize Articulate Storyline as well, so a lot of different options here. You can also download free templates on Articulate Storyline 360. You can also download XAPI templates and video templates, PDF templates as well, and if any of these subjects are new to you, you can check out full courses, everything from A to Z inside of Articulate Storyline 360, Adobe Captivate, XAPI Fundamentals, Camtasia, Articulate Rise, Custom Score, and HTML5 video. But today we're going to focus on this resource that I'm about to show you called Lottie Files. Now Lottie Files is a website, if you go to lottiefiles.com, you can use these animated GIFs inside of Storyline to really enhance and enliven your Storyline courses. So right now, you may have a storyline course that just has some simple text, and then you want to use an image. Now, most of the time, you'll use like a static image. This could also play into Rise, if you're using Rise or Captivate or whatever tool that you may be using. First of all, you need to sign in, so make sure you sign in. You can sign in with your Google account, Facebook account, other things like that. But you can see right here, just even on the website, these nice animated GIF files. If you go over products and then you go down to free animations, they have a lot of different free animations that you can download and use. You can also buy and sell different animations if you create them. And you can also have the platform and some other items that are paid. So depending on what you need, you may be able to find it. Some of them are premium, so you do have to pay at that point. But there's a lot that are free kind of out there by default. So if I go into products and go into free animations, you can see right here, all of the different animations that are free. Now, let's say I'm creating a training on forklift. I wanna have a nice animated forklift here. All I have to do is come in to search for animations and let's go ahead and just type in forklift. Now you can see all the different animations. There are tons of them, five different pages here, and I can go in and I can download any of those animations. I like this one right here that's really loading the truck here. That may not be exactly the truck that we use, but at least gives them the idea of what a forklift is used for. So if I click on that, you can see I can adjust a couple different things about my animation. I can unloop it or just not loop it right here. But for some reason, when I download that, it still loops inside of Storyline. I don't know why, um, but I can show you how to stop that if you don't want that to happen. And you'll do that using Photoshop actually. But there's some other customizations that I can do. Now, depending on the animation that you're using, some things you can adjust here, some things you can't. So it just, uh, again, depends on how you've or how, how this was created. So I can go in and adjust the animation speed if I want it to be quicker. I can adjust the background color. I can adjust the color palette as well. If I wanted to uh, change out the color here, you can see the, how it adjusts the color palette here. I'm gonna reset it back to normal. I like the color palette from before. Um, I can also get in embed if I'm doing this in web. I can add interactivity, but that one is a little bit harder to get into storyline. So we're not gonna add any interactivity here. Also edit animation, in some of these you can edit the animation. Uh, that does pop open a completely different page here. So loading editor, and you can adjust some of those animations by clicking on this. So I'm gonna go into this right here, and you can see I can adjust the color, and I can come into the settings, the dimension, the width. So some of those I can edit that, and then I can download it there. I'm not gonna get too much into that. I just wanna show you how you can go in and download it and uh, stop the looping and then bring it into Storyline. So I'm gonna close out the editor here. And so let's come back up here and we're gonna click on download. Now there's different types of downloads. We cannot use the Lottie JSON file, although with Camtasia 2023, you can actually use this file and you can adjust some of the colors right inside of Camtasia, which is pretty nice. And I'll have a, a video in the future that will cover that as well. But you can also download the zip file. You can download an MP4 video file. You can customize the GIF a little bit as well, or GIF, I've heard it both ways. I've, when I've tried that though, it like reduced the quality of the animated GIF, so I don't necessarily wanna do that. I'm gonna click on GIF right here, 
and it's going to download that. Now, because I'm on a Mac, it will pull up in preview and it will have frame by frame what is happening with this animation. So it's basically several images put together that it's just going to play. I'm gonna go ahead and close that. Now on my Mac, if I hit uh, spacebar, it's gonna pull up the animation. Now I have to switch over to Windows, which I use Parallels. I mean, if Storyline had a Mac version, I would never really have to pull up Windows. Being a Mac fan, I would love that, but I'll still use Parallels for Storyline here. If I click on insert, I'm gonna go ahead and click on picture here. We're gonna insert this animated GIF into here. Let's resize it. And because it doesn't have a transparent background, I'm gonna go ahead and move this below the text so it's not covering any of the text there. Now, if I hit preview, it doesn't animate until I preview, but if I hit preview, it's now gonna have that nice animation which just adds more life, in my opinion, adds more life to this page. And so we have this nice animation going back and forth. Now this one does loop. I don't know why or how to stop that um, inside of the Lottie Files application. However, if I come into Photoshop and I just open this with Photoshop here, or you can do this with any GIF, uh, animated GIF editor, but Photoshop, you can open this up, go to File and go into Export and then Save as Web. Now, if you click on save as web, there is this option down here where it says looping options. Right now it's set to forever. It's gonna loop over and over and over. But I'm gonna switch this to once and then click on save here. Now, if I click on save, it's then going to uh, replace that file that I had before, which is exactly what I want. And then I can go ahead and close out Photoshop at that point. I don't have to save it again. I already exported it as a GIF and so I'm good there. So now all I need to do is delete the one that I had before in Storyline and bring that one into Storyline again. So now let's resize it like we did before, move this off to the side and then move this down below, which in this case, it didn't really make much of a difference. But if I preview this now, you can see that the animation will run, but it will run just once. Okay, so the animation has stopped and you can see that it's not looping over and over. Hopefully you see the potential of really bringing in some life to your storyline pages and using these Lottie files to um, enhance and um, really draw in your learners a little bit more. Now, obviously you don't wanna to go too crazy with that. If you had several different Lottie files, there's, it could become distracting to the learner, but maybe on a few pages here and there, you can use one of these to enhance your learning. There's a lot of different things out here. If you're looking for something like medical, you can go ahead and search for medical as well. Remember that if you click on one of these, it doesn't quite match your color. You can go into show color palette. You can even create your own palette. But if you switch this out, you can see how the color palettes change as well. So there's a lot that you can do here. Even with like animated characters as well, you can see how some of these anima animated characters are moving. Now there are a lot of other tools out there that can help you create custom animations. And I'm going to um, be creating videos on how to do that in future videos future blog posts. So if you head on over to my YouTube channel, make sure you click the like button if you like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell notification so you get notified as I publish out new videos. And so you can get more tips and tricks and you can um, get access to the video on how to create different animations as well once I publish that. It really helps my channel, allows me to continue to grow my channel and create these videos for you. If you also have any other questions or suggestions of what else you wanna see, head on over to my YouTube channel and in the comments section, make sure that you add a comment there. I do check every comment and respond to every comment as well. But that's all I have for today. Hopefully this Lottie Files application is useful for you and you're able to go back and you're able to use this inside of your courses. Now, as a reminder, you can head on over to my website, check out all previous blog posts. You can check out different templates as well and full courses, everything from A to Z on Articulate Storyline 360, Adobe Captivate, XAPI Fundamentals, Camtasia, Articulate Rise, Custom SCORM, and HTML5 video. That's all I have for today, so thanks everyone, and I'll see you next time.